Alright, so in the last video we made a variable called poop, which was basically a jar of pickles, if you were following along. So, we're gonna erase all that work that we put in, from var poop all the way down to print poop, and we're gonna hit the delete button on that, and now we're going to go into making our game, which is gonna be a lot more fun. So we're gonna hit these arrows up top, we're gonna get out of that. You remember over here that I talked about the views that we have inside of this system automatically. If we hit F1, we'll go back to the 2D uh, scene view. If I hit F3, it'll go back to that script that we were just in. If I also click this something over here on the left, that node that is built into the system, it'll take us back to the 2D scene. And the thing is, we don't actually want a script on this, so the same way that we created a script is now changed to an X on there instead of a plus sign. If we click that, it'll get rid of that script for us, which is good because we don't want it. Now we're going to go over to our scenes folder, which is where it automatically put that script for us earlier. We're going to hit the delete button on that and get rid of it because we don't want that at all. And then we're going to right click onto something and we want to add a node that will give us some functionality inside of this game that will give us some ability to move things. Uh, so we're, what we're going to do is we're going to add a node onto this called a kinematic body 2D. There, this is a physics system right here. This gives us some physics inside the game. It allows for us to move and collide with things. And you don't really need to understand that yet. You will over time. I will be pointing it out. Now, if you left click on Kinematic Body 2D and then you left click it one more time, it'll highlight everything so that you can rename it. We're going to name this the player. And then we're going to right click the player and we want to add a child node to him. The functionality that we want to add to that player, the child that we want to add that will give it more functionality, the building block that we want to build upon him is an image. And we already know what uh, node that we use for an image. So go ahead and figure it out how to add that child node onto him. Right. So what you need to do is search for sprites and then you will double click on that. And now we have the ability to add an image to him. The only problem is we have no art to use. So I wanna show you guys a new website. This website is called itch.io. It's a really cool indie website for game developers. You can either sell games on here or sell game assets. We're gonna actually click on those game assets. We're gonna pick a free one today. So if you go over to where it says price and you click free, that is what we're gonna do. And then from there, you want to scroll on down and scroll and scroll and scroll. And you wanna see something that's called Spaceship Shooter Environment. This is what we're gonna be using for the series. So you're gonna click the download button now button. You can give the guy some money if you want to donate some money to the artist that made this. It, it might be a good idea that he did it for free basically. And I'm, but I'm gonna hit no thanks, just take me to the downloads. I'm gonna hit this download button right here. And then once it's done and it's opened, I'm gonna open up that folder. Now we're gonna go into Spaceship Shooter Environment and we're gonna double click into Sprite Sheets. Well, actually, we're gonna just drag out the entire Sprite Sheets folder onto wherever you wanna drag it out to. I'm gonna drag mine onto my desktop. And then I'm going to go back into Godot. I'm going to open up this folder with all the new Sprite Sheets onto them and we're only gonna drag one of these images over for now. This ship image is gonna be our player. We're gonna drag that over into our art folder like so. And if it doesn't go in the right place, we're gonna drag it back over to the right folder. We're gonna open it up and we're gonna left click on that, that image. Now, if I were to drag this image over to the texture on the sprite and when we zoom in on it, you'll see that it's looking quite blurry, right? And by the way, you can zoom in by mouse wheeling up and down or you can click these plus and minus buttons in the top left of your screen like so. If you middle click and, and uh, hold that down, you will also be able to move around your screen as well. All right, so now that we have this loaded up, let's actually click this import tab right here. And this is what determines how images are imported. If you click preset up here, we're using pixel art for this series. So you wanna hit this 2D pixel, and then you wanna hit preset one more time. You wanna set as default for texture, because this way it will load that in. It will load in all of our texture images, all the images that we're loading up, all the art that we're using in this way with these settings on there. Then you wanna hit re-import and you'll see it turns into nice crisp pixel art on there, which is way better. So now at that point, you can go back into that folder that has the sprite sheets onto them. You wanna select everything that we didn't use so far and you wanna drag it into the art folder. And you'll see if I were to drag 
one of these images onto the texture instead. It's automatically set up as nice pixel art because we already set up those import options as the preset when we hit that set as default for texture, which is perfect. So I'm gonna drag back over to ship because that's what I wanna use for the player. And then we're going to go down to where it says uh, animation. This is one of those built-in functions that are already in the system. And we're gonna see that it says V frames, H frames, standing for vertical and horizontal, V, H. And we're going to switch those numbers. And you see over here, for instance, we have two rows in the vertical. So if we hit the arrow up once, or we can click in here and write in two, it will actually set it up so that we only have one row showing. And then if I click this frames, so it'll switch between the two rows that are in there. Because it basically makes an animation. And I'll show you what I mean by that in here in a second. But we can also change this H frames to be five because there's five images left to right. Click in there, hit five, or you can hit the arrow five times if you like. And you'll see that we now have our ship all set up as a singular ship on there, which is good. And then if I hit this frames over, and I kind of hit it fast, like so, you can kind of see that it makes a nice little animation on there, right? If you just kind of move it over really fast, almost like a flip book does. That's kind of how animations in general work. Uh, even like if you see something inside of like an old Disney movie or anything like that. Um, it's just a series of still images that look like they kind of flow together. But for now, we just want to kind of set it on a frame that kind of has the full ship on there. And we're just going to kind of leave it at that for now because we're not going to really be messing too much with the animation system. We just kind of want a singular ship and we don't want to break this image apart, which is because that's a pain in the butt. So if you click this, the sprite node over here on the left side, you click it one more time and you type in art for the name, you'll see why I'm renaming it later on and what that does, but I do think it's pretty important to rename it for now. Okay, so we have our ship art built in now. We've loaded it all in correctly and imported our art. I think that's good enough for this video and this lesson. In the next one, we'll start to actually build in some movement for our ship on there and talk about if statements. <laughs> so I hope that I see you inside the next video. Thank you so much for spending this time with me. Please like, comment, subscribe. You guys know the drill. And I hope you guys all have a great day. Thank you.